guys and welcome back to another Wed Brew video. In this week's video, we're going to be going over eight tools that made our life so much easier during the Lululemon build series. Let's get started. Like always, when we start these tour review videos, we'd like to tell you guys what's sponsored and what's not. So this week's video is sponsored. It's sponsored by the Home Depot. We are a part of their prospective tool review program this year meaning that we're gonna get a handful of tools each quarter that we get to review to you guys on our YouTube channel and other social media platforms, including our website, our blog. So if you are interested in seeing more about these individual products, you can head over to our blog. There's a link in the description below that's gonna tell you a lot more about those products that we talk about in this video today. Now, all of the products are provided by them, but a lot of them made it into this video, so we wanna let you guys know that we are being paid to promote those in general across social media and we're gonna be do it, talking about them in this video. So yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that we are a part of that program this year, and you guys will be seeing a lot more tools in the future on our channel and other social media platforms, so be on the lookout for that kind of stuff. It's always fun to partner with companies like Home Depot. I get to see some of the new tools that are coming out and show you guys brand new stuff before a lot of times it even hits the shelves. So we're super excited about that this year. Yeah, and if you want to see these tools in action, you can check out the link down below to the entire Lululemon build playlist. If you're interested, check that out. It will be down below. So we're going to go through the tools and the way that we use them, starting from the beginning, going to the end. And the first one we used was the initial meeting with the client was 135 foot Bosch Blaze laser level measuring unit here it has a, a full color display <laughs> oh yeah so there's a link in the description below to this product product and i'm going to stop saying that because i know you're going to get tired of it there will be links to everything down below mm -hmm. and um yeah so this unit is really really cool it makes meeting with your client way more professional what it does is it simply shines a laser bounces off comes back and measures the distance of areas so we took this in when we first got started. We measured the entire room, where the backdrop would go. We could, if someone wanted to know like where the center of the room was, we could very easily walk to the center of the room, find it, and show the client where everything would be positioned. This is really, really cool. It's one of those things that has its more limited uses, mm -hmm. but I think it definitely steps up the professionalism. And there's some things that this thing excels at like yeah. long distance measuring. It's very accurate up to 135 feet. I was gonna say, when you have a room like the size of this store, like yeah. you couldn't bring in a tape measure and me measure the whole thing. So that is where that came in handy. Also, this is a laser. It's not invasive. They had stuff all over the floor, brand new floors as well. We didn't wanna have a metal tape measure going across the floor in there. This just, uh, it's very cool. I don't know if I would have bought it before we got it, but now after having it, I definitely would for presentation purposes alone. Yeah. So yeah, check that guy out. So the next thing on our list is this x -Carve from Inventables. We use this a ton during this project. We use it for the hexagons on the backdrop of the wall. We used it for the hexagon tables and we used it for the logo on the wall as well. This thing has saved us so much time, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a major money saver. It's also, if you've been following our channel, we use it Look. a lot. And we love it. Yeah, we've made, which we were providing this for free and we have done sponsored content for them in the past, but we have paid for this unit probably 10 times over. It's insane how much money we've been able to make off of this unit and time saved for sure. Yeah, and it's opened up so many more business opportunities for us. Yeah. You guys are probably already familiar with this. You've definitely seen it in a ton of our videos, like I said before, but definitely wanted to put it into this list because it made a huge impact on this project and we're so glad to have one in our shop. And I think it'd be a great addition to anyone's shop. I would advertise for this thing till the end of the day because I absolutely love it. And again, about the time consuming part, we had two weeks to do four projects, I think. Yeah. And this allowed us to get all of those done in a week and a half, 10 days-ish. It would have been really bad to have to do that by ourselves, okay? I'm good. Okay, let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, for this next one, are you ready to see probably what I consider the most revolutionary uh, cordless tool I've ever used? It is the Dewalt cordless worm drive brushless 60 volt links in the description <laughs> saw and it is unbelievable mm -hmm. like this thing blows 
my mind how powerful it is and how long it stays powerful for, if that makes sense. It doesn't run out of battery quickly like you would think. What do you got to say about it? Because I am blown away by it. I am too. We used this in New York when we went to like the kickoff thing for this program mm -hmm. and I got to use it there and it was crazy good. Like, it was powerful. So a lot of problems I've had with cordless circular saws is that they're underpowered and when a saw is underpowered, it can be a little dangerous, but it's also unpredictable and that's what I don't like about it. A little sketchy. So I typically have to use a guide whenever I'm using a cordless saw for sure because it, it's not as smooth and powerful as a cordless one. This one is an exception. It is unbelievable. I've never been more blown away by a cordless tool in my life. And I'm not just saying that. It is very, very awesome. And half of that has to do with the Diablo tracking point blade that's on there right now. And if you have a cordless saw, I recommend you trying this blade out because it's specifically designed to work with cordless circular saws. Very awesome, very awesome combination. The only thing I have to say that I don't like about it is that it's the uh, left-handed kind, you know, where this part is on this side. It takes getting used to, but that's that's it. You can, I think their thinking behind it was that you can see mm -hmm. the blade easier. I like it, I like it like that. I've always used them the opposite, so it's kind of like a personal preference thing. You know, I've used them the other way for so long. But yeah, that's the only thing I have to say about it. Cool things that have, has a joist hanger so you can hang that bad boy up. It has depth adjustment with it's actually marked on there. Um, apparently, there's a bunch of measurements here that the framer guys use to be able to make cuts without actually having to use a tape measure. Uh, not that good, so I can't tell you much about that. But I will say, this tool is really incredible and if you use a, a uh, miter saw very often, I highly recommend it. It's a little bit heavy, but um, it's not too bad. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah, I would say this is one of my top picks on this yeah. list of new tools. This thing's crazy cool. Next up on our list is this Ryobi cordless pin nailer. Back when we were looking into getting a new pin nailer, we were kind of debating on whether to go with a pneumatic one or a cordless one, and this has not disappointed at yeah. all. We use this for the entire wall backdrop. I think we use it on a little bit of the cabinet stuff as well, yeah. and for the logo to we'll tack it up on the wall for the time being. This is really cool because it's so small. Mm -hmm. I really, really like this one. Um, it's you know, a pin nailer doesn't need to be pneumatic, in my opinion. Uh, it, it, there's no, there's not that much power need for it. So having this cordless has been really cool. I love using this to tack things together before we fully assemble it. Yeah. And uh, it came in handy a lot, so much so, that we bought the finish nailer. We specifically bought it for this project because we wanted to be able to get some of those hexagons into studs. And uh, this is not as impressive as this, um, only because I think it's a little bit big and it's loud. But other than that, the cordless factor is amazing. Mm -hmm. It functions just as well as a pneumatic one. I wish it were quieter and I wish it were a little bit smaller. But these two are a deadly combination. Yeah. Like not having a cord dragging around, not having a hose dragging around, it's pretty, pretty nice. And also, you know, it's kind of debatable whether or not this is loud because you don't have a compressor running yeah. a lot. So, you know, there's a bit of a trade-off. This is loud when you shoot, and the others are usually loud a lot. A lot. Or the most of the so, yeah, two great tools that we used in this build. And all the time, yeah, all actually. The time. <laughs> so in our last shop, we used a laser level for the first time, and it was game changer. And this project was no exception. We needed a laser level for a lot of different things. We were hanging shelves, we were hanging the hexagon tile backdrops, logos, and you name it, we were using a laser level. So this is the Bosch Professional GLL30. This is one of their smaller units, but it's extremely handy. It has a laser level that's both vertical and horizontal. So you can align things. What I like to do is I like to put the vertical in the center of what I'm doing, and then the horizontal is just a reference level spot. So then you can like work out and make things centered on a room. That's the way we've been using it a lot. Yep. And 
These aren't that expensive, but they save you a ton of time and make your work way more precise. Yeah, another thing about that is it is self-leveling and it has oh, yeah. a little pendulum in there to help out with that. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. <laughs> Just throw this guy on a tripod or stack it up on like books or whatever is usually what we do. Oh my do. gosh, if you would have seen what we had to do to get this thing high enough, yeah. we had a ladder, <laughs> a ladder, a trash can upside down, and then like a box, and then it was that. Yeah. So, but these these are really cool, and I wish I had gotten one of these a long time ago because they make life a lot easier mm -hmm. in a lot of scenarios. Yeah. So check one of these guys out. Next up on our list is this Milwaukee 16 inch True Blue Digital Box Level. This combined with the laser level, they work wonders together. Deadly combination. Deadly combination. It's branded as Empire. Uh, Milwaukee owns it, but you look for Empire and you'll find these guys. I'm definitely going to buy a much longer one of these too because this, even though it's two feet, surprisingly having it digital is very, very handy. And it actually gave me a really good idea of how out of level things have been in the past that I've done. Because when you look at the bubble and you're like, yeah, that's definitely level. But then you look at the screen and it tells you up or down which way to go. And you see the actual measurement next to that and you know and you can see the difference from when it's truly level. It's insane. Yeah, and yeah. it'll beep at you if it's yeah. not level and then when it gets level. No, is that right or is it beep? I think it beeps, it beeps when it's level. Yeah. So you hold it up, you turn it on, and it'll basically it'll give you numbers of which way to go up or down. Mm -hmm. And then once it's level, it'll kind of beep and tell you it's level. There's also so many other things you can do with this, but we haven't gotten to try them. Like you can lock it and make it do like a 45 degree angle and get that right. Like there's a lot of different features of this that we'll talk about in our blog post, but we haven't got to try out. The main feature that we've gotten to try out is getting things level. Yeah. And it's surprising how out of level things have been in the past we've done by just looking at this bubble. And it gives me a much greater appreciation for these digital levels in general. And definitely you're gonna get one that's like super long. Super long. Because that would be so nice. Also, these are milled faces. Yes. I don't remember what it's down to. Do we have that written down somewhere? Um, this thing is milled to be extremely straight. So if you want to use it as a straight edge, you can do that as well. And I highly recommend checking these guys out if you want to get something perfectly level. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's video. I know it's just a whole bunch of tools and a whole bunch of information, but if you want to know the specifics about every single tool and all that kind of stuff, there's a link in the description below. Again, check out the blog. And uh, let us know in, in the comment section whether you like these videos or not. I think it's cool to associate the tools with the projects that we're doing so that you guys can see real world application and what we are truly using and what we like and what we don't like. Yeah, and remember if you want to see these in action, there will be a playlist down below to the Lululemon build series and you can go watch. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next one.